Hey everyone, so today's video is going to be an update on my press in veneers and um, let's take these off as a glare. Okay, so I am still talking a little bit funny because um, right after my last video I sent my bottoms back in to have some adjustments done to them and I actually just got my bottoms back today so I'm trying to get used to everything and let me just say that um, whenever I first put the bottom arch in, because those are the ones that I had work done to, uh, I freaked out and I was like, uh, they would not stay in my mouth at all. Like, I could do this and they would just like rattle. Um, uh, then, let's see. It was like at probably 9 o'clock in the morning. Okay, so I went back like three different times trying to put them in my mouth and they just would not stay. And so um, like around 1 o'clock I went back in there and I was finally going to put... Uh, they send you these. They're like adhesive dots and it's like to make them uh, fit better to your teeth or whatever. And I really didn't want to have to use them. I just wanted to be able to pop them in my mouth and they fit, you know. And so I was like, okay, well, let me put them in my mouth one more time. And I'm going to see, like, you know, put them in there and kind of move them around and see where I think I need to put the dots. And whenever I put them in, they fit. I was like, what the heck? And so the only thing that I can really think of is that whenever I originally took my impressions, um... I took them at night and they say that your teeth swell throughout the day and so I guess maybe um, my veneers fit better like later on in the day than <clears throat> first thing in the morning because I mean my other ones never did that but in all honesty I don't, I'll probably never try them on super early in the morning because uh, I'm I, I sleep late. I'm not a morning person. Um, and like whenever I get up, I drink coffee and I lay in the bed and watch YouTube videos and comment on everybody's stuff and answer people's comments. So I usually don't really get moving until about 11 or 12 o'clock. But um, I never ever noticed my other bottom arch doing that and so I emailed the company and I was like these are way too big blah 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 and I mean I wasn't rude about it but I, I was freaking out because I mean I was excited to get them back you know and and then they didn't fit and I was just like crushed you know so um <laughs> anyways uh, a few hours later they, they emailed me back and they were like you know we'll send you another kit you'll have to redo your impressions that's the only thing I can think of and I was like well let's hold off on it because they're fitting now and I was like let's just wait a few days and see what happens so um, I'll have to do another update video after this I mean or I'll just like tell you in a regular video that I ended up keeping them Oh, my feet are going to sleep. Um, but anyways, I know I say anyways and like a lot. Okay, for any of you trolls that want to like comment about it in the comment section. Uh, so yeah. Um, some things that I want to tell y'all about the press and veneers are that, um, you know, I get asked a lot if you can uh, eat with them. And the company says that you can eat with them, but the thing is that you're not supposed to eat hard foods with them. And if you do eat with them, then you're supposed to rinse them out right after you get through eating. Um, because food can, you know, get behind them and if you don't rinse them out, then that crap's just going to be sitting on your teeth. And uh, as far as drinking goes, uh, they say that you can drink with them. Uh, I'm not, I can't remember if they say that you're supposed to like rinse your mouth out after you get through drinking, but I suggest that you do if you're drinking anything besides like water because, um, and this is just in my theory, uh, in my 
opinion, whatever you want to call it. Uh, so if you're drinking something like acidic or something colored, uh, it's going to get behind the veneers because like spit gets behind, behind them and like, I don't know if you can hear that, but anyways, that's like the sound of me sucking the spit out from behind them. So like, yeah, if you're drinking anything with like color to it or like, you know, with like lemon juice or anything like that, um, that would cause like discoloration or erosion to your teeth, I would suggest uh, after you get through drinking that to rinse them out uh, or not drink anything other than water. I don't drink anything other than water whenever I have mine in because I don't want to cause damage to my teeth and I don't feel like taking them out that much to rinse them and things like that. So that's, uh, I mean, because your teeth, like I said, are going to be sitting in that and that's not good for your teeth. I don't think it is anyways, but that's just me saying that. Um, the adjustments that they made to mine was like, there was a spot that was like kicked out right here and whenever I talked, my mouth would get hung up on it. Um, I don't think this is the same arch. I think that they made a completely new one uh, because like this side right here is different. Like, this side right here, it used to cup down like this on my teeth. And now, it's not like that anymore. And, um, and this is another thing that they did. See, remember how, like, on my last ones, this right here came down like, oh, it got spit on me. Anyways, um, this whole thing came down like halfway behind the teeth. And whenever I would talk, my tongue would get caught up on it a lot. And uh, so, what, and plus I have like a crooked tooth right there. And it was really thick right there because of that crooked tooth. And so they cut some of that out uh, so that it would make it easier for me to talk. And they also brought this stuff like down further, down behind my teeth. So, um... I think that's the only things that got changed about it that I can tell. Uh, yeah, it's staying in there now. It's so weird like how freakishly loose it was this morning and now it's fitting perfectly fine. So another question that I get asked a lot is um, how long did it take from the time that I ordered the veneers for me to get them. Okay, so the day that I ordered the veneers, uh, it took about, um, I think it took about three or four days to get the, the, uh, the kit to do the impressions. And, um, I sent my impressions in the very next day. And, from that day, it took roughly about a month, I think, to get uh, my veneers in. So, yeah. Another thing that I wanted to talk about in this video is like, uh, the ad for the Press on Veneers is always showing up on my Facebook and I usually try to like answer people's questions in that even though I'm not like obligated to because I am not in any way paid by that company. I know that people keep saying, oh, you seem like you're not uh, paid by the company, and I'm not. Um, I don't know any other way to put it, but like, no, I'm not paid by them. I just uh, am speaking from my own experience, I guess, and like, whenever I answer questions like on their um, posts on Facebook and stuff like that, it's like, uh, <laughs> I don't, like, some of the questions on there are crazy to me because, like, Brighter Image Labs, they share this, um, their link, and it's like a picture of this mouth, and it has, like, duct tape over it and saying something like, you don't like your smile or something like that, and it's got, like, the little press on veneers sitting to the side. Everybody comments on it, and they're like, uh... 
how much do these cost? I need a phone number. Can can somebody please answer me? Uh, like, what are some other questions? Like, how do I find out more information on this? That thing that you're commenting on is literally a link, and all you have to do is click the picture, and it'll take you straight to their website. Or you could just Google Brighter Images Labs, and it will take you... Uh, and you can go to their website like that. I don't, I mean, I don't mean to pick on people, but like, how do you use Facebook and not know that? Um, but I don't know. There are people out there. <laughs> so, but like, even though people are asking crazy questions like that, I still like try to be nice and answer them. Uh, and, whatever but uh, and like somebody said something on there the other day about uh so you're just gonna put these like over rotten teeth and just let your teeth continue to rot um my teeth i've shown y'all what my uh teeth look like without these in and mine are not rotten i just i did not want to get braces so i got these I want to throw in here that, um, and this is another thing that is just in my opinion and, um, like something that I have like seen and, you know, my observation, whatever. Um, if you already have like big teeth or if you have like buck teeth or I'm not trying to be rude by saying that, but like, if your teeth are already kind of like, I don't know, just like big or um, overcrowded or I don't know, just anything like that, and you order the press-on veneers, and then you want to be one of these people that are like, oh my god, these things made me look like I had horse teeth, blah, 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 blah. If you look on their website, it shows you in fact, let me just bring it up. Okay, so I'm about to show you, like, this is on their website. So this shows that it's going to be a little bit bigger than your regular tooth. It's going to be a little bit thicker and all of that. So, with that being said, if you already have, um, like, rather large teeth, or anything like that it's gonna make them look a little bit bigger so you need to keep that in mind if you're thinking about getting them because I have like a strong feeling that like the people that are saying that it made them look like they had horse teeth that um, they have you know they probably had like big teeth or like overcrowded teeth or anything like that already so you know just think about it how much do they cost go to their website scroll down and it's right there um another question is uh everybody's like well how do you know if you're gonna get a good impression if you don't go to the dentist uh they actually have on their page they have this right here it's a video and you click it and they show you how to take a proper impression um i also have like tips from whenever i did my impression uh that you can watch that as well so one more thing that i want to like touch on before i end this video is like um i had seen where one girl had got the press and veneers and she got them strictly to take like pretty pictures for Instagram. Um, I suggest that if you are going to do that, that you go with like a cheaper option, especially if you're just wanting them for pictures because, uh, I don't know, it seems a bit overkill to me, but you do you, you know, <laughs> whatever. I'm just uh, trying to help you out like to save money or whatever. So like a cheaper option would be to get like a uh, the pageant flippers and I found this uh, company and they're really nice people I talked to them quite a bit one day like asking about their product and things like that uh, they suggest that um, you don't eat 
or drank with them. Um, that they're strictly for like, uh, you know, taking pictures, uh, pageant wise, you know, like trying to look pretty or whatever in a picture. Um, <clears throat> I think that they also do like, uh, like if you're like trying to get some like weird teeth made for like a costume or whatever i think that they also do stuff like that too they do not do bottom arches for adults because of like the whole list problem and um so the name of the company is unity smiles uh i actually have brought it up <clears throat> let's see so the pricing is like uh it's twenty five dollars for an adult impression kit and it's a hundred and ninety five dollars for an adult pageant flipper like so that means for the top arch so twenty five dollars for the impression kit and a hundred ninety five dollars for the arch um it says that uh they should not be used to cover decayed or broken down teeth uh, to wear all day while eating or drinking. So, you don't use it for any of that stuff is what they say. <laughs> That's what they claim. So, yeah. So, if you wanted to just get that to take, like, pretty pictures, then, you know, that would be, like, a different route to go. Just, like, go to their website and check it out. And, uh, you know, that might be a cheaper option for you if that's what you're looking for. Alright then, I think I have answered everything today. But if there's anything I left out, just feel free to ask me in the comment section. Um, I try to always answer back. Uh, on Instagram, I answer back pretty quickly as well. Uh, I will be making another video soon just like to let you know if I ended up keeping these bottoms or whatever so yeah I guess that's it I gotta go put my hair up it's driving me crazy today so uh I'll show y'all another close-up of my teeth before we go Alright, and if my lighting seems a bit off, it's because one of my lighting, uh, one of my lights messed up. So I only have two today. So I will talk to you guys later. Bye.